Hey guys, we have two quick topics today. Uh, the first one is we will go over the flux curve of Tabby Star for today, August 17th, and we'll do this by showing you a light curve update from Bruce Gary. Our second topic is we will revisit Bruce Gary's observation of a 34-day period sinusoidal variation along the nominal flux line that seems to be persisting. So this is the normalized light curve of Tabby Star taken in the V-band. The normalized flux line is the long-term accelerating dimming curve. And this is today's measurement circled in red, which shows that we are now back at the nominal flux line. It should be noted that it seems that we have had a transient dip not shown on this light curve that was caught on two of Tabby's team's uh, telescope that fell 1.5% below the lowest point on this light curve. So for our second topic, this is Bruce Gary's two-year light curve of Tabby Star. The pronounced curve is the long-term accelerating dimming curve serving as the nominal flux line. And the open circles are measurements taken during the three short-term dimming events that occurred this year. And what is circled in red is the current flux measurement for today, August 17th, showing that we are back at the long-term accelerating dimming curve. In other words, we are back at the star's current nominal flux level. So here we are zooming in slightly to a 10-month period of the same light curve to show you the sinusoidal variations that Bruce Gary has observed. The measurement circled in red is today's measurement, and notice the green dotted sinusoidal variation that rides along the long-term dimming curve. It has approximately a 34-day periodicity with a 2.6 millimagnitude peak-to-peak -peak amplitude. It seems to be cutting through the measurement points, including today's measurements. Um, what is it, guys? Your guess is as good as anyone else's because this is a weird star. So guys, that's all we have. We will see you soon in our next video.